नमस्कार मैं सी ए मनमोहन जिंदल विशेल डिस्कस टूडे ऑन वैल्यूएशन प्रोफेशन इन इंडिया सो वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वैल्यूएशन वैल्यूएशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिटर्मिनिंग द इकोनॉमिक वर्थ ऑफ एन एसेट or liability under certain exemptions that should be properly defined when you engage in the profession and limiting conditions these are also to be explicitly mentioned and subject to the data available on the valuation date it is the crux of the valuation that on a certain date valuation may be differ and on the another date valuation may be differ so valuation date is very very important so indian economy has witnessed the proliferation of a profession in the field of valuation recognizing recognizing the need for institutionalizing and regulating the profession of valuation effective from 1st february 2019 the concept of registered valuer was introduced through section 247 of the company act 2013 which provides that where a valuation is required to be made under the provision of this act it shall be valued by a person who having the necessary qualification experience and a member of the registered valuer organization and he should be a registered valuer so central government has notified companies registered valuers and valuation rules 2017 which provides for a complete framework for development and regulation of the profession of valuation and the power of the authority have been delegated to the ibbi a code of conduct has also been prescribed which has to be mandatorily adhered to by the registered valuers in addition to the requirements of the company act 2013 and other applicable laws so profession has so shown a rapid growth during a short span of 4 years and this is a old data as in 30 june 2021 More than four thousand RBs are registered with the IBBI, out of which almost sixteen hundred registered with the security or financial assets class. So, who is registered valuer? A profession eventually is only as good as its members. Hence, the valuer member need to be an amalgam. of the qualities such as independent impartial fit and proper competent duly qualified and experienced to undertake the valuation assignment he is expected to act in good faith in discharge of his duties with the utmost integrity objectivity independent impartiality in the performance and to seriously pursue the highest standard of the professionalism as an important stakeholder of the ecosystem registered professionals are required to maintain fine balance between high degree of proficiency and ethical standards which accentuate the need of best practices to be followed so these should be the qualities of a registered valuer there will be always a several factors example management capability present and prospective competition yield on comparable securities market sentiments etc which may not be apparent from the balance sheet but they can have a significant impact on value valuation in its entirety is the most decisive and in fact the most important aspect on which the entire decision making process is dependent so valuation report is developed and prepared by exercising judicious discretion by the registered valuers by considering the relevant factors so 
this is on the valuation report that how a r b should prepare the valuation report any change in the assumptions or factors which has an influence on the valuation may impact the value therefore utmost care and caution must be exercised by the valuer while deriving the value and must produce and present a detailed and fully reasoned valuation report that covers all the aspect in detail further the strength and efficiency of a valuation process and in turn its outcome will remain undiluted only if the rv observed high standards of professional ethics ethics also plays a very important role in the evaluation process so what are the various processes such as corporate insolvency resolution process merger and acquisition investment analysis capital budgeting is dependent upon the final outcome that has been reported in the valuation report and as such the valuer plays a key role in the development of the equipment a valuer by being entrusted with the responsibility of arriving at valuation upon which the entire decision of stakeholders is being dependent upon remains a key player in the exercise it is utmost important that valuer exercise due diligence and ensure high standards of integrity and fairness in all his dealings during the course of discharge of duty so that valuation report is fully reasoned and presents an accurate and reasonable value of the asset under valuation so here we are concluded that valuation profession has a great future and proved to be a value creation in for the indian economy and for the indian business itself thank you kindly subscribe and press the bell icon